Hey there YouTube, and I just need to address something that I said that was apparently a little bit controversial, and I just need to discuss this subject with you guys today. And I'm gonna go ahead and pre-apologize right now. I'm a little grumpy because I woke up later than I wanted to because today is Friday and it's like my last real day of being alone before I start my new job and I wanted to get a bunch of stuff done. I wanted to be super productive. Now that's kind of out the window a little bit because I didn't wake up at five like I wanted to. To be fair to myself, I still woke up at 7.30 so it's still early. It's not like I slept until noon or anything but I'm a little grumpy about this. So yeah, the next couple of weeks of my life are going to be crazy. So obviously Christmas is Monday and I'm going to be leaving to go home with my wife um, back where I'm from in Ohio, which is like an eight hour road trip on Saturday. And then Christmas Eve is Sunday, Christmas is Monday. So I'm spending that with my family um, and we're going to stay a couple of extra days after that. And then we're coming back to North Carolina on Thursday of next week. What just happened? I, I really hope that this sickness is like actually gone. I thought it was like all the way gone and then today I woke up and I wasn't feeling super great again. But we're gonna hope that it's gone. Anyways, back to the story. We are coming back Thursday of next week and then Friday is the Ohio State Bowl game and my wife is off work and then there's Saturday and Sunday um, and then New Year's and I start my new job on the 2nd. And it's crazy for all the reasons that you already know, right? I'm starting a new job, like that's wild and that's insane and it's going to be mind-boggling, but it's also crazy for reasons you don't know yet. And I'm going to share them with you soon, but it makes it so that next weekend for me is just absolutely, like, intense. And I will have all of the time in the world and no time to myself, if that makes sense. And I'll explain this week. Also, I drive this little Hyundai Veloster, which is not the greatest for filming in a car. Like, I don't know how Chris Sean gets the angles he does, because, like, my camera doesn't fit above my steering wheel or, like, on my dash. Like, I have to hold my camera when I'm in here talking to you guys. I just don't have a good dashboard for camera stuff. Maybe if I took the mic off, but then the sound would be sh So I was trying to record some dope B-roll on my way to where I'm going, and my camera died. Like, it's just completely gone. Um which sucks. Yeah, I was trying to get my Peter McKinnon or Chris Sean on, and then this died. So that's fun times, obviously. Ah, I have a fully charged battery at home too. Like that's the thing that annoys me. I just didn't look and I have a fully charged battery at home. So now I'm recording on my phone. It's okay though, cause I can't really record inside of here cause I'm buying a gift for somebody for Christmas and they'll know what I'm buying them if they see the store that I'm going to, I think. So that's fine, whatever. And now it's time to take over the rap game. I have to say, I'm pretty proud of how this turned out. Like, those are pretty clean edges for my skill set, so I'm not gonna be mad about this or the way it's wrapped. Nice bow in the corner, nice name tag, nice and flat. You know, the lines are clean. Boom. Check out the mixtape, drop in 2018. So I cleaned up the mess I made wrapping that gift, and yeah, I hope you guys, this is gonna be my last video before Christmas, I'm pretty sure, unless I post the road trip video like on Christmas Eve, but I'm not sure. I'll be filming tomorrow during the road trip. 
but we'll see when that comes out. And if I don't post that video, Merry Christmas to all you guys, or Happy Holidays, or whatever it is that you're celebrating this holiday season. I'm not a Christmas person from a religious standpoint, but I grew up celebrating Christmas and giving gifts and enjoying the holiday spirit, which I continue to do today. And I have a passion for, you know, the holiday tradition and the holiday spirit. I was a little kid and I loved the tree. I, we always had a real tree for a while and then my parents brought home a fake tree and it like almost destroyed my world because I loved the like smell and the feel of a real tree, like they were awesome. And I just enjoy like family getting together. My mom has a huge family and they're super close and everybody gets together to celebrate and to be together and to eat and talk and chat and it was just a lot of fun as a kid and so I hope to carry that passion and tradition on to my family and yeah that's where we're at right now in the time of year right and so talking about passion is kind of the subject that I want to talk about today when it comes to development too and like I said this might be a little bit controversial for some people here and I understand why I want to put that out there right at the beginning I understand that my opinion on this is not for everyone I've gotten a couple comments on recent videos specifically ones talking about finding a job and I tend to be of the opinion that if you want to find a job, you need to pick up skills that make you job ready. And if you want to become a developer and get paid for it, then you need to pick up skills that get you job ready. And the comments have basically a similar thread that you should find what you're passionate about in coding and follow that track. And I understand that opinion completely. But let me explain why I disagree for the most part. And before I get down this possibly dark and controversial path, let me say one thing right here at the beginning. And I try to say this in all of my videos and sometimes I may forget, but Leo hopped on the table, wobbly camera. But what I was trying to say was basically, if you want to get into development and you want to get into code and programming because you want to build something for yourself, you want to be your own boss, you want to start something, then it doesn't matter really what you learn. As long as you pick the right thing to build what you're trying to build and it works for that. If you're passionate about Python or you're passionate about Elm or you're passionate about Elixir or any of these other languages that are amazing programming languages but don't exactly have job market coverage, then by all means go learn those and go build your awesome dope app in those languages because that's amazing and it can possibly change the landscape of web development to a certain degree if an app blows up that's built in Elixir, right? But, but if you're here to change careers, if you're here to find a job, if you're here because you want to change your life when it comes to the career and monetary aspects, and you have a passion for coding and you have a passion for building projects, but you want to be able to have full-time employment after you're done learning, then you have to learn what people are hiring for. It's really cool to be like super amazing in Rust, but if there are zero job openings for Rust developers over the next year in your area, then it's hard to find a job doing Rust, right? Passion is great. Passion is especially great in this industry, which over the course of your career is going to change so much that you need to be passionate enough about this stuff to be able and willing to learn and continue to grow the entire time you're here. It's not like accounting where like laws can change every once in a while, but the basics of accounting are going to be the same until you retire. You have to be passionate enough about programming and building things digitally that you're willing to adapt and learn and keep up with the pack to a certain degree when it comes to this like career. I would never harp on somebody for following their passion and following their dreams. Getting caught up in the specific syntax that you're writing or that you're learning though when it comes to your passion can be a downside, it can be a hindrance. If you pick like an underground or under the radar programming language because it excites you, I understand why it excites you. That stuff is exciting. When something new is released, it's exciting. But if you're wanting to get paid, if you're wanting to get that check every week, JavaScript and the popular JavaScript frameworks are going to be where the money is. Or PHP and Java are going to be where the money is. It, it, because they're proven and because a ton of people have a ton of products on these technologies, 
then that's where people need the help. Now, once you land that first gig, by all means, feel free to go out and try new things and try different stuff. And you can possibly be a resource in the future when your company is thinking about switching from technology X to technology Y, and you can tell them why you love Crystal so much, or whatever it is that language that you went out and learned on your own. That, that's totally amazing and totally awesome to do. But in my opinion, the most pragmatic advice is learn stuff that people are hiring for, and that seems to be like common sense to me. I understand the argument for following your dreams and following your passion. I, I totally get that. I lived in Ohio and got a creative writing degree to try to be a screenwriter while living in Ohio. Like, if that's not follow your dreams, follow your passion going to school, then I don't know what is, because there are zero screenwriting jobs in Ohio. And I know not everybody is going to agree with me, and that is absolutely fine. I value your guys' opinions very much, and I would love to have a deeper discussion about this with you guys. And if you want to leave your thoughts in the comments below, it can be long form. You can leave, you know, a thousand word response if you want to. I'll read through them all and maybe like package them up with some responses, or if you change my mind, or if you make good points and throw them in a video as kind of a response to this video. I want this to kind of be a discussion more than just me talking at you. So if if you have thoughts on the subject, leave them down below. I'd love to hear them. And this is where I'm going to... I messed that up. And this is where I'm going to cut this video today. That was super cheesy, wasn't it? I shouldn't try that anymore. So that's where I'm going to cut this off today. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you like what I'm doing here and you want to keep following along in the journey and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you have a wonderful holiday if I don't see you before then. And I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.